Hey guys, John here from Ecom XSEO. In this quick video, I just want to work through uh, some of the uh, uh, issues that we're seeing with schema in some Shopify themes. Uh, what we normally recommend is um, creating schema manually yourself, depending on how large your store is. Uh, we like doing it that way because we can add in extra elements of schema uh, and product schema uh, that is not native with uh, most Shopify themes. Uh, there's an app called Schema App, which we also use, and I'm going to do another video on that. But in this video, I just want to show you uh, what you should do is go and run a product page through, and we're just looking at product page here for the moment. Uh, we'll talk about collection pages uh, and home page schema, etc. maybe in another video. Uh, but for product schema, if you run your product page through Google Structured Data Testing Tool, a lot of themes will pull back an error. Uh, this is some of the extra information I've added in, but they'll pull back an error with the, um, uh, error with the product um, or aggregate rating, for example, because a lot of things won't add in the schema required for the brand and description, etc. And then the error here, warnings are not so bad, which are these orange ones, uh, but we'd still like to make sure there's no warnings. And then errors uh, are what you don't want. So, and it becomes a little bit gray because the way Google... Uh, the product schema works, Google wants to see a review on each product. So that just goes to show that um, that's really going to, that they're looking at reviews and they want to see reviews and any product that has a review is going to do, uh, is going to be crawl better and is going to perform better in the search engines. So the first thing you should certainly look at is, is getting uh, customer reviews for your products, which is obviously difficult if you're a new store. But what I wanted to show here in this video is how you can fix uh, these errors and then add in schema manually but to do that you need to remove some code on the back end of uh, if you're getting these errors you need to remove some code in the back end of Shopify so and then what happens is uh, just two seconds then what have, happens is you'll end up with a product with product schema uh, similar to this if, you, if you're going to build out your own so where you have no errors and you can see here as we, we scroll down through the uh, Oops, as we scroll down through the schema, that we have no errors, which is what we want. And there's some added information here that you won't find in your native schema. Um, we've got a dis ambiguation description, um, some related, is similar to and related to schema. Uh, we have, obviously, we have our reviews, etc., etc. So we have no errors in this product schema now. Now this is a bit of a band-aid approach and it really is only going to be viable if you've only got a few products um, and you're running your own store. So let's say you've got between zero and 10 products. Uh, we, we have a, a number of stores like that where we focus on a market and we focus on only a, a few products that you can actually do this manually and then you can update the, uh, the ratings uh, as they come in. But that obviously takes a little bit of time and we can mitigate that by using the schema app, which I'm going to show in another video. But if you just wanted to get your schema, let's say you've got a brand new store or a store that's been running and you've only got a few products and you just want to get rid of these errors. So here's what you can do. So the first thing you're going to need to come and do is come into your theme file and you're either going to go to product liquid, um, but in a lot of cases it's going to be product template. So it's going to be in the sections and it's going to be product temp template dot liquid. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go control F. So control F and you're going to look for item type. And you can see here that it highlights our item type and there's our schema, the schema code there and there's another one there. So what you're going to do, you're going to highlight from item type and you're going to remove all the way. Whoops. You're going to remove uh, all the way to the end of the quotation marks there. So you're going to remove that section and then you're going to go through, through and do the same for anything else that's got item type. So you can use your arrows here up and down. There's some more down here. Um, and there's the offer. So we can remove that uh, product. So we do that for all item type. And then you do the same for item prop 
and you'll find some item props here so you remove that as well so for the item prop you would just move item prop and then to the end of the quotation marks so there item prop here etc and then availability so you take all that out so we've done item type item prop and now we want to do also item scope so there's item scope and you want to remove all item scope sections. Now I'd certainly recommend you back up your Shopify store before you do this. We haven't had any problems doing it, but obviously there is um, you can have issues doing it. So you move item scope, item type, and item prop, and then that will remove all your schema code from the native Shopify theme. Then what you do is you go and build your structured data, and you'll go and build your structured data manually for each product. Now, we do it manually, we've got our own templates, but if you haven't done it before, what you can do is come to a tool such as this, technicalseo.com tools slash schema markup generator, and then you can create product schema, and you basically just follow the tool. So you add in the name, the image URL, the brand, product description, identifying properties, etc. your GTO and SKUs, for example, and you fill all that in and then that'll create your code here and then you can uh, use that as your schema code. Now this might not completely, uh, th when you when you go and you put this code into structured uh, data generator or, or the tool, it might not remove all errors. So you're going to need to do a, a little bit more research to find out how to remove those errors and add in that, that data which is just a little bit of research work uh, and once you've got a template organized for your product then you're not going to get those errors or warnings anymore. Remember warnings are not such a, a big issue but you want to try and remove all errors. So once you've got that code then what you can come and do is you can go to another file in your theme. So there's two ways you can do it. You can use your go to your product editing dashboard and you can use the HTML editor change it to HTML and you can add the schema code at the bottom here and add it into your the body of your product. Uh, generally I don't like to do that, um, if we're in a, in a hurry we do that, uh, but generally we don't really want to add the, um, the schema in the body, although it does work and it'll, and it'll be crawled no problem and Google will see it. Um, the other way we like to do it is by adding it to the product template. So what you do is come, you can come direct to product.liquid and then we're going to add a bit of code in here. So you, what you have, you've got all your structured data for that particular product and it's all the way down to here. And we're going to use an if, uh, call, call it with an if statement to pull, to, to add this structured data uh, using the particular product handle, which is the end of the URL. So this is it's um, so it'll go your domain slash uh, product slash product URL. So use the end of the URL, which is a product handle, and then that tells Shopify to add this code, the structured data code, to the only this page. So you add that in, then you add your structured data that you've created, and then you end it with a uh, an end statement here. And then you can go ahead and do that for each of your product pages. And what it'll do is then when you run the structured data tool, it'll pull it from here, uh, show that it's correct, and then Google can crawl it and you'll have your structured data in place. So a little bit complicated, but just a way of um, sorting out your structured data quickly, especially if you've only got a, a few products uh, on your page uh, and in your store. Okay. Any questions, leave, uh, leave in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks.